littlest pet shop. At the height of its popularity, these things were pretty much everywhere. How big is your little pet shop now? But now, not so much. Over the past few years, LPS have quietly disappeared off of store shelves and into obscurity. So at least in my experience, I've found it to be pretty difficult to go out and get LPS these days. If you've got the money to spend, then sure, you can always look online. But what I really want to know is if it's still even possible to spot LPS in person out in the wild in the first place. So that's what I'm going to do. Well, attempt, at least. My plan is to check out a bunch of stores, retail, thrift, pretty much anywhere I can think of that would even have the littlest chance of having any LPS in stock. And essentially just see how the LPS world is doing now as a whole. So I guess, here we go, on a quest to find Littlest Pet Shop in 2023. I don't think this is gonna go well. Just gonna start with that. I think I just wanna knock out some of the basic retail stores out of the way first, since I'm pretty positive they're not gonna have anything anyway. I mean, I haven't I haven't seen LPS at those stores in forever, really. This part's probably gonna be pretty quick, but for the sake of the video, figured I'd give them a try. So, this is what happened. I'm gonna start simple with Walmart. I wasn't expecting much at Walmart, but still, had to try at least. I remember getting LPS like the Hungry Pets and Lucky Pets there just a few years ago, back when those had just come out. But sadly, no luck today. Not uh, not off to a good start. So on to the next store, Target. There were a lot of people that day for some reason, but none of them were getting any LPS because there weren't any here either. The last LPS I remember getting here were some blind bags, but that was years ago. So moving on. This is not going well, is it? Next. Meyer, another store basically like Walmart or Target. At one point, they seemed to have a pretty decent LPS selection, at least the times when I went. But today, the closest I got was this real littles thing. Not quite littlest pet shop, but close, I guess. A small, false glimmer of hope, but in the end, nothing. I mean, I remember going to all these stores years ago and being able to find LPS stuff, but now I guess it's not really a thing they carry anymore. So far, not very successful, but I can't really say I was surprised at the outcome of any of those places. Which means at this point I had to start getting a bit more thrifty. Goodwill is always kind of a gamble in general, but I gotta give it a shot. Nice and nice. Okay. A mess. Complete chaos. So I wasn't too surprised when I ultimately found nothing. To be honest, I think I've only seen LPS at Goodwill, I think, maybe one time ever. It was a little Paws Off Diary thing. It had like a bull terrier in it. Keep your paws off! It's the littlest pet shop Paws Off electronic diary with the littlest card pet. But hey, that's just one Goodwill. There are others. So later I tried a different one. And to my surprise, I actually ended up coming across something LPS related. The Get Better Center set from 2006. At the Get Better Center, you can help your littlest pets feel their best in no time. Well, the door, at least. Just the door. I wasn't terribly interested in buying a broken door, so I guess it was time to move on from that endeavor. I mean, I went into this trying to find like the actual LPS, like the figures, but this might be the closest I can get, honestly more than I expected. For our fifth store, it really only seemed fitting to try five below. They had a lot of random little things, but no littlest pet shop here. Things are looking bleak to say the least. Okay, so we've tried to go to a bunch of different stores so far and absolutely nothing. <laughs> to be honest, I think I would have actually been more surprised if I did find any LPS. So I guess I can't say I'm super disappointed since I went into this with a pretty low bar set anyway. But I have a few more ideas and places I wanna try, I think, before I give up on this completely. Cause why not, I guess. So I took a break from this whole thing for a little bit and then I decided to revisit Goodwill one more time since at this point that's the closest we've actually gotten to seeing anything LPS related. I'm not really seeing any pets but I did typically find some accessories I guess. Does that count? I even checked the board games just in case since there were a few that came with LPS as the characters. Find more LPS fun in the game aisle, each sold separately. But still not much once again. So at this point, we've only come across partial LPS related things, but otherwise not much of anything else. Maybe that'll have to be good enough. Obviously, LPS aren't being produced nearly to the same extent as they once were, so it's safe to say that it would be pretty unrealistic to find them in a retail store, which is inevitably going to increase the demand of the old ones. And that means that, even if any of the thrift stores did happen to get LPS in at some point, I probably wouldn't be the first one looking for them. I knew going into this that it wouldn't be easy, but 
As a last effort, I decided to stop by a local collectible shop, on the off chance they would carry or even know what Littlest Pet Shop is. They had a bunch of random movies, records, and games, and various other trinkets and stuff like that, but as I anticipated, no signs of LPS. So I was ready to call it a day. Until... A full bin of LPS. Yes, actual LPS. Not random accessories or broken pieces of playsets. And in a refrigerator. For some reason, I don't know why. I picked out a handful of the ones that I liked, and then the guy working there was like, uh, I gotta call my boss to see what the price on those would be, because he wasn't familiar with LPS at all. So then he calls and is like, yeah, how much for the littlest pet shops? Yeah, the, the little animals. Then he looks over at me and the other person I went with and goes, they're adults. So I guess for some reason his boss wanted to know that, maybe to gauge how much we were willing to spend since I guess it's an adult collector and not just some kid. I don't know. But anyway, then he says his boss has to do some research and at this point I'm like, oh no. Because as soon as you look up Littlest Pet Shop on eBay, you're probably going to see all the expensive top 5 ones. But luckily it really wasn't too bad and these are the ones that I got. So this is the bag that I got, and that's it, thanks for watching. No, I'm joking. Bunch of LPS inside that you can definitely see. Should I just dump it out, I guess? These were all the LPS that I decided on. There are 11 total, some cats, some dogs, others, then this hat. I don't know, which one is your favorite? Let me know. There are maybe like one or two in here that I do already have, but these ones were in better condition, so figured I would get these. Some of them have a few scuffs or marks on them, but most of them are in pretty good condition, I'd say. Honestly, I was just glad to find anything. Also, I was pretty surprised. But yeah, that is, that's everything I got, and I'm really happy with everything. So all in all, Littlest Pet Shop in 2023, pretty hard to come by. Impossible? No. But it does take some effort, unless I've just been really unlucky for the majority of this video, which I suppose is a possibility. But overall, I would say that Littlest Pet Shop has definitely seen better days. I have a feeling that if Hasbro really wanted to revive LPS, it wouldn't be terribly difficult. But they would have to try this time, for real, and not like this. It's pretty well known at this point that most people did not like the G3 style of pets at all. But I didn't even mind the newer stuff they were starting to come out with a few years ago. Littlest pet shop like you've never seen. There's so many to find. Though for most people, it'll never be the same as the classic old LPS. But I mean, at this point, I wouldn't be at all shocked if more fakes were selling than some of the LPS Hasbro themselves have put out in the past couple years. After all, when the authentic versions are so expensive and hard to get, a lot of collectors are willing to settle for the fake counterparts. So obviously there's still a demand for the older style of LPS, and if Hasbro somehow went back to this approach, they would probably have a pretty good shot at being successful. Especially now that some time has passed enough for them to have that nostalgia selling factor. Kind of like we're seeing with the Monster High reboot. And recently there's actually been some news about a potential relaunch of the brand as soon as 2024. So that's something I'm looking forward to, as I'm sure a lot of other collectors probably are as well. But I guess for now, I'm just glad that I ended up finding something after all. Even if they were hidden away in a bin at the bottom of a refrigerator. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more LPS videos, check out my last upload all about the rise and fall of the now defunct Littlest Pet Shop Online. It was an interesting one to research. And please consider subscribing and turning on notifications to make sure you don't miss anything in the future. Also follow on Instagram for more LPS stuff and also video updates to see what's coming next. See you in the next one.